Good afternoon, students. Oh, good morning, students. And good evening, student. It depends what time you are studying this lesson, right? Now, students, today we are going to study the plural of nouns. The plural of nouns. Nouns substantivos, okay? So, uh, in Portuguese, the plural of nouns, we just add S in the nouns and we have the plural. For example, carro, carros, in Portuguese language, yes? Okay, in, in, in English, it's not the same. But the number one, yes, the first rule says add simply S to indicate plural. For example, if I have dog, of course, the plural is dogs. So, the dogs are waiting for their master, okay? Uh, we have, for example, car, and the plural is cars. Some cars are stopped on that street okay so the first rule says that you have to add s in the noun and you have the plural okay the second rule now it's what we call the exceptions the rules okay we have add es to nouns ended by s s s s h C H X O and Z. Okay? Alright, let's see some examples. The example I have here is with the word kiss and the plural is going to be kisses. Okay? If I have the word bus, the plural is buses okay so the girl gave three kisses on the cheeks of that boy okay bus buses we are adding es the buses are stopping at that bus stop on guilherme coaching avenue Okay, continuing, uh, we have, for example, uh, watch, and the plural is watches. We have the word brush, and the plural is brushes. Okay, so. Uh, we add ES because the word is finished in CH. We add ES because the word is finished in SH. Okay? So, watches, you know, the watch you have in your wrist. Uh, those girls have beautiful. Apple watches. They use the watches when they are practicing physical activities. Okay? Brushes. Um, the brushes I would like to speak here is hairbrush, escova de cabelo. Okay? Uh, I need to buy two new brushes for me and uh, escova de dente uh, my mother wants two new tooth brushes uh, for her friend and herself okay so just repeating finishes in s s e s finishes in s e s c h e s S H E S. Let's go for other example. 
Other example we have uh, fox and the plural is foxes. Okay? We have potato and the plural is potatoes. Okay? So, the word finishes in X, we add ES. The word finishing O, we add ES. Uh, fox, you remember, students, is raposa, right? There are two foxes living in my garden. Potato, potatoes. I will need five potatoes to cook, to prepare mashed potato, okay? Mashed potato, pure, okay? Now, uh, the word Z, I have here topaz. Topaz is pedra topazio, okay? And finishes in Z, so the plural is ES, topazes, okay? I have two earrings with two topazes, all right? Okay, we have buzz, that is zunido, buzzes, zunidos, okay? All right, now, uh, rule number three. Nouns ended by Y after a consonant, replace Y by IES. Okay, let's go for an e example. We have here city uh, ended by Y after a consonant. So you replace uh, Y by IES. Okay, another possibility we have cherry. Remember cherry? It's the little fruit, cereja. It finishes in Y and after a consonant. So Y is after a consonant. So replace Y by I, E, S. Okay? So every time we have Y after a consonant, we are going to add I, E, S, substituting the Y. If we have Y after a consonant, we replace the Y by I, E, S, okay? There are a lot of cities in Brazil. The city we live in is São Paulo capital, okay? Uh, my sister wants three cherries on top of her cake, okay? Let's continue. Number four, nouns ended by F or F-E, replaced by V-E-S. Example, we have life. Life. The plural of life is lives. We have other example, thief. Uh, the plural of thief is thieves. Okay, so the word finishes in fe, ended by fe. You replace fe by ves. Life, lives. The word ends by F, you replace F by V-E-S, thieves, okay? And then we have, there are a lot of lives in danger in hospitals, okay? Thieves, thieves, ladrões, criminals, the thieves, always go to prison, okay? 
All right, I have a continuation of this class in the next video. Here we have the rules. In the next video, we have the exceptions more. Okay, goodbye.